I think my preference for alternate picking when I'm going up just sort of came from when I was learning playing guitar. I probably ended up with an upward pick slant. Uh, this is not like the angle, not that angle or that angle, whatever. But just when you put the pick straight on, whether you start out leaning it towards the floor. I'm not a big advocate in this, by the way. Or whether you tilt it upwards. So for me, because I tilted it upwards, it meant the first three notes. One, it's difficult to see. I'm going to exaggerate this. but So one down, up, down. But my the motion down was already carried across the next string, away over the string, because it's sort of leaning upwards a bit. So I'm not hitting the next string. I'm naturally jumping over it and ready to do an upstroke on the next one. Whereas if I was leaning down on the pick's land, I'd be stuck in here, and my next motion uh, would probably more naturally be to economy pick that next string. One, two, three, stuck in here. I have to do a jump to get to alternate pick it if I was doing that. Um, and that's sort of why I think... Um, again, on the opposite end, like going from the high E to the low E, that my picking there, because I'm still sort of I'm trying to, this, these are all the habits, we're all trying to break bad habits, I suppose. <laughs> uh, that is, I guess, maybe learning at this stage, I don't know. Because um, I'm leaning upwards. Then I'm already coming, if I'm coming from an upstroke anyway, already leaning into the string and getting caught inside the string so the natural motion would be to economy pick through the next string um but again if you have a downward slant here and you're coming from an upstroke up down up now you're carrying the pick across the next string oh of course this is all habit and some of it is I feel like some of it is almost pseudoscience uh you, you probably know that troy troy grady guy I think it's not something people necessarily need to focus a whole lot on, but of course it can be worth looking at if you're stuck in some kind of pattern or whatever. But um, if I'm doing economy picking, I'm trying to get my hand to move more freely. And even if I'm sweeping, I also... So if I'm doing an upward sweep, I'm in my natural position of, of kind of holding the pick upwards. And if I'm sweeping down, I sort of... Since my natural position sits like this, it's it's going to be difficult to sweep because it's naturally carried away from the string, sort of. So I need to just tilt my hand a bit on my wrist and carry it through there. Anyway, those kind of things is what I kind of think about anyway. So It's something I'm trying to practice that economy pick and get more fluent at ascending from low E to high E. Anyway, lots of thoughts here. <laughs> Thanks for listening to my TED talk.